Okay. Um, good day. Good afternoon. Morning. And good night, depending on where you're watching us from. Um, I just say, let me let me get on today for me to talk about one thing today. You know, um, it has been hectic skelter for a lot of people, and most times, you know, one thing. One thing here is that most times, most times, we find out that this this government, this government, they will bring up something as if they are using it to to do something good, but they are using it to put the people down all the more. You know, one thing, one thing that is clear now is that. You know, all this time, but that now, hey, this this cash policy, this uh, new cash policy is to check metric rigging, uh, and even uh, some APC, uh, some APC uh, members are already crying. These things are these things are a planned work. You know. They are already crying, telling you that this is this policy, this money policy is to checkmate, is to is to is to uh, uh, stop our our candidate. This and that and that. They are the ones crying. And even even some of them are making gestures, saying that uh, the policy is against them. And the worst thing is that even though the policy is against the real people, the policy is against. They are not even talking. They are the ones trying to even agree that this monetary policy is against uh, APC, is against Tinibu and all those things. I don't know why. I don't know why our people will continue to to believe trash. I don't know. Ask yourself. Okay. For the meantime, many people have been suffering to just get. Twenty thousand. Now you are not. You are not even getting twenty thousand. I was in the ATM, and they weren't paying twenty thousand. They were paying five k. And as far as you are using another ATM, that is that doesn't belong to that bank. You are going to take two k. Maybe you take two k, two k, then one k, making it three times. And the banks will also take money, uh, uh, um, charge you. For using the ATM three times just to take 5k. Just to take 5k. Okay, I I don't want to rush this yet. I don't want to stay long on this video. But I want to say this. This policy is never to checkmate rigging. But to enhance rigging. Why do I say this? Why do I say? Okay, okay. Let us take for instance. Let us take for instance. Ask yourself this question. This money has been released, and this money has gotten into a lot of hands. Even some POS vendors that have longer legs have already gotten many new naira notes. A lot of people have made more than 200,000 naira, 300,000 naira, 500,000 naira selling new naira notes. So the question also is if if uh, Juliet who is a POS uh, operator can buy this from bank managers. Are you trying to tell me that Tinibu cannot change all the old naira notes he has and get more money into his vote in order to use it to to for the election in two weeks time if the aboki that is changing money on the road can go to the uh, bank and 
with the little contact he has, he can buy as much as new Naira note he wants in order to check money for people. Tell me, the senator that has been looting a lot of money with long leg, can't he get more money for the election for the people he's going to use, uh, use the money to bribe during election? Are you telling me that Atiku, with all his collection, uh, connection, has not gotten enough new Naira notes that he will use to bribe people? You think uh, uh, politicians? You think politicians? Okay, uh, Chijo Kokura, I recognize you. I salute you. I salute you. It's a Sunday, you know. I normally, I normally rush in to start whatever I'm talking. I normally try to say it and leave here, but I recognize you. A Sione Cosmos Chime say I recognize you. Um, I recognize all of you. Thank you. Uh, Chijo Kokoro, you are welcome. It's a Sunday, you are welcome. And no, no, you are welcome. You are welcome. I welcome all of you. And I implore you to share this message. You know, they, 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 they easily lie to us. They easily lie to us. And people have been selling this information. People have been saying that the, 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 that the election, uh, uh, nobody will rig the election. They are fooling you. They are fooling you. They already have the new Naira notes. The reason why you cannot withdraw the, the new Naira notes is because, is because, they have the new naira notes stopped a lot of them are with the new naira notes so the election will be rigged and let me tell you the worst of it all now the election will be rigged even better than the other the, the previous ones the election will be rigged even better than you know previously previously most of us we normally um we normally buy, we normally, some of, some people normally sell their vote of 3,000, 4,000 naira, as, as the case may be. But this time around, this time around, that they have frustrated the people and made them think, made them vulnerable enough that they cannot even withdraw even uh, 5 Imagine. Imagine in a pulling booth they are sharing 1,000. With the new currency, you think people will not buy? You, you think people will not sell their vote with one one k? You see what they have made you vulnerable. They have made you think that you cannot even um, even uh, uh, get the money. So right now, those of you that are thinking that APC that they are doing this monetary change in order. To, to destroy all the money politicians has been has has lodged into into their their houses waiting for the election then let me tell you you are a baby you are a baby in this country you don't know anything you don't even understand how rotten this country has become have you asked yourself how, how these people are making their, uh, those people selling this Naira note to you. How are they getting it? If someone in the market can get it and be selling in the market, then tell me, why, why is it that you're thinking that Tinibu have not gotten enough? And the worst thing is that they will make their people to cry the most. Hey, you are doing this for you, for us, for you to stop us from winning election. You are doing this to frustrate us. Who are you frustrating? They have boys in the banks. They have boys in EFCC. They have boys in DSS. They have boys in everywhere. And these people will make sure they get the notes. Why they suffered me and you from getting the notes. A lot of people today cannot even buy anything just because they cannot get the new Naira notes. They can't. They can't get the new Naira notes. And some of us, uh, somebody wrote here, it is a litmus test to know the reality 
reaction of people, so they prepare ground to rig election. And you can see that the people are now doing. Okay, okay, okay. My phone is overheating. That's what the phone. Okay, it's like I put charging. Okay, don't close. Okay. I think it will stop overheating now. Okay, so um, okay, so let me finish up what uh, he wrote. Okay, so that people are not doing anything. What it means is that the election will be rigged and nothing will happen. That's good. That's good. You have a point, Montpel Aaron. You have a point. Okay, um, we do it. Do it. That's absolutely true. Okay, thank you. This is the exact thing I told my colleagues, but they said I wasn't making sense, that the politicians can't get the new naira notes. Imagine, imagine. You see, our problem, our problem is that a lot of people don't really understand the game that is being played. That's why we will be in 2023, are you getting me? The politicians will play us today. In 2025, we will now understand the game the politicians played in, 2025, in 2023. While in 2025, they are using another game to play us. Now, in 2028, we are now understanding the game they played in 2015, in 2025. That's exactly the game they play. You know, imagine, imagine someone thinking that Puerik, uh, Tiribu cannot get the new Naira note. <laughs> imagine that. Imagine. Imagine someone thinking that Peter Obi cannot get the new Naira notes with all his connections. This country is not America, for goodness sake. This country is not America. This country is Nigeria, where anything happens. You know, our problem, our problem is also our school system, where majority of the teachers weren't taught history. The majority of the, of the teachers don't even know anything. Knowing anything is not even being a master of your subject. It's about knowing the country you are teaching students. Because when you know the country, then you can be able to tell the students what they need to know. So that when they apply their course, their study, the course of their study, when they apply it, they also have something to back up with. Because they have to understand the nation. They have to understand their history. They have to understand how they, they are even their politician things. They have to understand all these things. So the reason why I came up today to talk about this is because I've had a lot of people saying this election, this election will be we win it because Tribu will not have money to rig again. Let me tell you. All of them have money to rig. All of them have access to new Naira notes. All of them have got in fact some of these people got their own new Naira note direct from Central Bank if, not, if care is not taken. So what are you saying? What exactly are you saying? Go to the ATM machine. Some are fighting. Some are naked inside banks. Some ATM machine, we have up to 300 and something people standing there. Even when the ATM is not paying, they are there keeping vigil. This is this is Nigeria. This is your country. This is Nigeria. So it's quite unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate. You know, the problem the problem most times is that when you shout and shout and shout, when you keep saying all these things they will never understand you. They will never believe you. But after like two years now, people will return here to say, you were right. Or you, you was, he was right in those days. He, he said it. He said it. When Nande Kalu told us that the Fulanese are coming, they told us that they will kill a lot of us. They told us that our farms and our world will be destroyed. We called him names. People were saying he's mad. Today he is right. Why should we always say that somebody is right? While those things were said for us to take precautions and take actions. 
today people are saying now they can say it to a day we come where we cannot even assess our money in the banks this and that and that and that yes he said it must not the call be always right when he said it what did you do you shouted on him you called him names you supported his incarceration his illegal detention you supported it so the bottom line the reason why i came up here today is to tell us is to tell us that the politicians that the new money will not stop rigging the new naira notes will not stop rigging it will never in fact it will enhance rigging the new naira note will not stop anything the election has been rigged they have all the much they need to rig it. The politicians, the money is with them already and they are going to rig this election. And they are going to pay even 1,000 naira to some people because on that morning, many people will not even have any money to use. Imagine someone that has been in the ATM for 13 good days without getting money knowing that he can use his uh, his voter's card to get 1000 naira and you think he will not take it you think he's not the people have been made vulnerable they have been made to think that the the election we we go without uh the politicians buying buying um the new naira note because they believe they were made to believe that the politicians don't have this money they were made to believe that the money is not even in circulation. But the money is in circulation. The politicians have gotten hold of it. They have the money now. Bank managers, bank operators, now is their time. Those that have a big head in the banks, now is their time. They have made their millions. And you are here believing them. The only thing you can do for me is to share this message so that those those thinking those thinking that um, that they are not going to those thinking that they are not going to sell their votes yeah okay um, prince prince gk thank you good afternoon <laughs> ugo 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 na you are talking about 1k they are going to pay them 55k yeah it's possible they are going to pay but what i'm telling you is that in some localities they don't many villages they don't even have atm people that are in town cannot even assess the atm they have but there are people in the villages they don't have atm some of them don't even have bank account so how do they survive so are you saying that those people will not go for 1k they will they will this has become so bad for a lot of people imagine there are people that don't even have money they don't have the money but few that have the money in their bank cannot assess it so hunger is in, in many places hunger is in many places so um so my dear friends my dear friends keep sharing the message keep sharing the message um also um i i, I might even download this and also post on my youtube and uh, you know already I, I my youtube goes also my youtube channel goes with my name eluchko hage at eluchko hage so you can also go there and subscribe and, and subscribe one the reason why you should always uh, give us your vo the voice is because it's because there are people you can trust with the type of followers they are getting because they will always stand with the people we are not waiting for them to give us ministers we are not waiting for them to give us job 
Are you getting me? We are we 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 are contented with the little we have. We are not waiting for them to please them so that they can put our names to do, uh, among those that will be giving um, commissioners. No, we are not. We are not. We are not. We are we are not so desperate that when they mock us that we are teachers, that we don't have money, this and that. We are not desperate for them to change our situations, no. That is the reason why we are standing with the people for more than seven years now and we are going to continue to stand with the people because we are the people. That is why when they try to fool the people, we, we come here to tell you that they cannot fool us. They cannot fool all of us. So if you have been believing, if you have been believing that this new Naira note was made to check met rigging, because Potaba, Potaba, start coming out, Potaba, it is never to check met rigging. Rather, it was made to enhance rigging. In fact, the, the rigging, 2023 20, rigging will be, will, be, will be something else. And people, they have a lot, enough money to rig it. They have enough new Naira notes to rig it. So do not, do not fool yourselves. Do not fool yourselves. And finally, finally, the problem is one Nigeria. The solution to the problem is, is to stop the problem. And to stop the problem is to end one Nigeria. If anybody tells you that Nigeria is going to be better, no, it's not going to be better. Doesn't matter how old, uh, how long you're going to stay on this earth. As far as Nigeria continues, it will not get better. Today we are alone. We are this. this the worst is that these governments have made it in such a way that whenever you criticize the government, they track you. They make, make life difficult for you. They try to arrest you. They try to imprison you. They try to lure you in order to get you. Weird people will not even know that they have taken you. But it is never a crime to criticize a dubious government. It is never a crime to say that the, the monetary policy is a fraud. The new monetary policy is a big fraud. Where are the monies? Why are you suffering? They have made everybody to suffer. And uh, go to the uh, uh, ATM machine. People are there joking over, all, over their worries and problems. They are showing it that they have been defeated. And more is coming. But we shall conquer. Keep faith alive. Thank you and God bless. Thank you.